Hello everyone, this is Gally and welcome to a new episode on how to draw dragons. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw a hydra. Sometimes hydras are not recognized as dragons because they have no wings, but I will just go along and pretend they are for the sake of this video. So hydras are creatures with many necks or many heads and the problem with them is how to put all the necks in a, a body. So there are many examples of that. You can see the one from Hercules, which starts with a normal, very big body. Its legs are like this, and then... I don't think it has back legs, actually. I think it's just like a... And it has a normal head. And then when he cuts it off, well, more heads come out, and then they don't show you how it looks, but it ends up with like so, so many heads, makes no sense. But they don't show you the body, so then you have no idea how it fits in one body, right? There is other mythologies which have like another animal with the lion head, and then there's a dragon head and a goat head in one body. Which also, it's a little funny. It's a chimera. It's not a hydra, but it's the same purpose, like having three heads in one body. And what else we can think of? Well, so many examples, really. If you Google Hydra, you will come with many ideas. There is one with MacFarlane dragon figurines, and it's also the big body of the monster. I don't remember how it looks like, but I just know that it has like the front dragon head. And instead of growing on the sides here, the other heads grow on the back. So it's like, they all grow on the back. It's kind of weird as well. It's like a sea monster, but all the heads grow like here instead of on the side. And that's another way of drawing them. But we're just going to make sense of it. So I'm going to try, I don't know if this brush is working well for us, but Okay, I will change the color a little lighter. You can always Google Hydras, really, and like get the idea. So we will go like... Obviously not that high. This is from Sandara. I feature her in one of my videos. I don't know who this one is, but it's really cool. There's this one. So, of course, you will get a lot of examples, like so many. This is one. This makes sense, actually, the snake one. It's a little more understandable. Most of them hide the body for a good reason, because it's not easy to have like this beast to have a lot of, of necks. Like for example, this one, all these necks look way heavier than the rest of the body, so it probably will go forward and face palm itself against the floor. So I got this one from Sandara, which also doesn't have the body, but it's more like a, a sea creature. So in this one, it's a heavier build, and the necks kind of connect to the back, some of the front, like there's two in the back, which I don't know where they are, because this one will probably go in the back here. There's a third one, well, not a third one, obviously, but you know, this one, I don't know where it goes. So that's the problem with Hydras, it's a little hard to fit them all in one body. This one works, it's a very thick body, thin heads, and it works. It makes you feel like it's really heavy here, so it can hold all the heads together. So that makes sense. This one as well. It looks like it has a very long tail. A little broken tail, but it looks heavy. And thin heads, that also works. This one as well. Like the, It's a mixture of the thin heads mixed with the heavy bodies. You know, So that's, that's what I'm talking about when you do a Hydra. And it's a very tangly mess when you want to create your own. It has to have more than one head, so you can just do two heads. So we'll just imagine like we have the body of a dragon. And well, this is the torso. I'm gonna make him like standing up, kind of body. And we will do like the very thick legs that could hold it in the bottom. So it's gonna be like sitting down. 
very thick arms. I'm not going to draw like the post completely, but I just want to make the example with this. Okay, so if you wanted one head of your dragon, probably go like this way. And the other heads, to make it look realistic, I know it's fantasy, but as I said in my previous videos, fantasy and reality are one and the same sometimes, because you base one on the other. And, well, you have your little dragon here, right? And you want to add more heads and you wonder where they could be. One of them could be behind, like, or next to the first one. Here. So it, it fits rather than disrupts the whole thing. So you could have the other head here. So they all have, like, they share one body and they are connected in a certain way to the body. That's just three heads, so what will happen if you had more? Well, the other ones will be, for example, in the back, and it will grow. I will change the color just to make the point. So it grows on the back. I said change the color thing. Okay. So it grows on the back. And you will have this one here, maybe another one further off here. And another one on the back. So you can have, apparently, as many as you wish to have. Dragons and Hydra dragons usually have wings, but that's a little more complicated. You can add like the wings later if you wish. So it's a very very funny looking Hydra because my pen has a dying tip, so I cannot really draw very well. So we're going to hide this Hydra, hide Hydras, haha. And I'm going to try it like a different approach. So you want to do We went over them. So yeah, this one was the one I liked. Because it makes sense, like the necks are all going into the body and I will demonstrate that here. Lower the opacity. So, head one. And I drew on top of that layer. Okay, head one. Ta da! It goes onto the body. I'm going to trace the body just for the, the purpose of this. And then you go. Head number two. It's gonna get a little complicated, but whatever. Head number three. And then try to follow the other heads. Like head number four, five, six, and seven. Seven heads. La da! It looks like a very. But as I drew them, you will see that they all go towards the body, the main body, like this is the body, and they go connected here and here and here and here. So the point is like they are all in the main body, it makes sense, they follow, they are tangled, but they do follow a path towards the neck of the body, or however necks they have, so this part. That makes sense, and that's what I was talking about when I said you have to have like a coherence on this. So, I'm going to erase this one and grab another example from the internet. So there's so many examples you can just play around with. 
Like I'm going to play with... Oh, this one is a very nice example. So it all fits into this like thick piece here and then like one, two, three, four, five heads instead of seven. And this one is also nice. It follows, you see. But, well, this one is a little strange. It doesn't look like it fits there, but it works, it works. This one was also very nice. I'm going to go with this one. This is from Dark Cloud 013 in the Beyond Art. I'm going to copy here. Ta -da! Just copy and go out on top of it. And again, let's do the, the magic. So you have one head, it goes to the body, another head, another head, and there's like the whole body here. And then this head might go all the way to the back. And this one as well. So they all connect here. Then the arms and everything. So as you see, they all have this kind of form. They have a, a body, a big body. And then they all have a very thick body structure with very long necks. So if you have a like a very short neck hydra, it might not work. It's too heavy on the on the body. My suggestion will be like create a thick body and then add slender heads. That way you can have like not as many as you want. Might not look nice. Think of Orochi, Orochi, or whatever you call that in Okami and Hercules. That Hydra still doesn't make sense to me. It's a little strange. The legs on the body can be anything you want. It can be flippers, you know, it can be like hind legs maybe, and the tail. And you can really have fun with your Hydra. But the thing is, don't like go overboard with the heads, because I am going to point it out, like the Hercules Hydra. Let's go with it. Ta -da. So yeah, this part, this part, they show no body, like, it makes no sense. I'm sorry Disney, but really, it makes no sense. This makes sense. This makes no sense. So as you can see here, it's like, it's very good, it's very nice. So the thing kept growing and growing. So my my idea maybe is that once it had like three heads, it looked really okay. He had the body here and then, you know. I guess that when he cut more heads and the heads went like all over the place, they just literally, I don't know what happened. And then I think the body either stayed the same or maybe became bigger, stretched. If you want a lot of heads, in your animal. I mean, who's to say you can't do that, but just like try not to make it so crazy. Just so you can work around drawing them. So yeah, Hercules went really overboard with that. This works, like it doesn't have a lot of heads, it still works, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the body. So yeah, that still makes sense. This one just no. This one. No. Just it doesn't make sense. Okay? Says me. So this is also like it looks very cool, but they don't fit into a body. They look more like snakes. So yeah, if you're going to make a hydra, just keep in mind that the heads are connected to necks that are connected to a body. And they all share the body, so make sense of it. Like here. This is a drawing. It worked quite well with the body, the neck, this one for example, so yeah, that's my only tip really, is to keep the sense of the thing you're drawing, remember everything's connected to something else, so you do have your animal 
working with the body, not just the head. So that's my tips for growing hydras. Uh, well, more about like the necks more than anything. And I'm going to like show you how to draw the arms of the hydras maybe. Like if you had your body, again, I'm going to do this one head for now. You had a very long head. And then you had like the neck. The thing is, to balance all the weight that all the heads might give your animal, supposing he has more like, let's say seven heads, so your animal has seven heads. The thing with seven heads is that they might be heavy, so if you do like a very heavy body here, and then like very little tiny legs, your animal will just flop forward, like this, and it would die. And you don't want that, so. I would recommend making a heavier bottom, like the legs, maybe even drag the legs a little bit, like a crocodile. Have a heavy tail, hoist, hoisting it like down. If you want wings, by all means, add wings. And try to have in mind that the hydra has to move somehow, so make powerful front legs to move it, drag itself around, so who's to say how many legs they have, right? But it could be a snake, it's no problem there. Like this one has two pairs of legs on the front, no legs in the back. Some hydras have literally no legs whatsoever, like the previous Hercules one, no, no legs. It was supposedly a snake at first, so no legs was the original idea but I love the ones that have like more legs like this one like this is a snake pretty much and yeah you get the idea so this one for example has more legs like one two three four like a normal lion you know with a lot of legs so it works all the way so I hope you you glean some ideas from this video I hope it helped you so thank you for watching guys if you like the video and want to subscribe, just hit the bell icon on my profile so that so that way you will know when I submit more videos. And yeah, that was all.